my backyard has absolutely turned it on. In saying that, about two hours, we were out there rocking and rolling and feeling sick as dogs. But we've caught a couple. No thanks to me. Thanks to that guy and thanks to that guy. And we've pulled in to a little bay. Perfect location to cook up what my family always cooked up when we got a bag of flathead. Beer battered flathead tail with tartare sauce. So, our beautiful flathead fillet that was caught out there about three hours ago. First thing we're gonna do is get your finger and put it in between the skin and the flesh and that outer fin. Then we just wanna slowly start to peel that skin away from the flesh. Just pull it down, pull it down, and now you literally just wanna pull that skin off the flesh. Flesh, skin. Now these guys, are ready for the fryer, ready for the frying pan, ready for the barbecue, whatever you want to do with them. What's up, Paulie? I'm going to give him one of those mackerel, what do you reckon? Dad's going to flip. Got him. Ready to go. Save those baddies for later. So I'm going to get onto the tartare first. I'm going to go in with half a French shallot and just dice it really fine. But this tartare, it's not gonna be a soft one. Like, I want you to get punched in the face with flavor. I'm gonna go in with half a red chili. We'll just take the seeds out, because I'm gonna add a little bit more spice later on. So for the legends at home that don't know, the seeds in that membrane is where all the heat in the chili is. You get rid of it, especially these long Thai ones. They're not too hot. It just gives that nice sort of sweet chili flavor that I froth on. Capers. These are gonna add a nice little salty, you know, how you going, little kick to it. So I'm gonna go in with like a little handful and we're just gonna roughly chop these guys up. Dill, one of my favorite herbs to go with seafood. Again, if you want a fan of dill, get a bit of parsley in there. Lemon, again, oh, nice one, legend. Classic flavors with seafood. You know that's gonna taste good. Now the base, a whole egg mayo. Yeah, do it yourself, that's fine, but I'm out in the middle of nowhere today, so I'm going straight in with a whole egg mayo. Couple of tablespoons. Give this a mix and see how our flavour combination's going. That consistency is, is what we want. See how, like, the mayo's just binding everything together? And then I'm going to go in with some seasoning now. So a good teaspoon and a half of Tabasco, salt, and some cracked black pepper. That's done. We'll set that aside. Beer battered fish and chips, I reckon, is all about that batter. So I'm going to show you how to absolutely nail it. So in our bowl, we're going in with two heaped tablespoons of plain flour. And then we're also gonna go in with a heaped tablespoon of rice flour. That's your crispiness. Then we'll give that a quick mix. I always forget shit. Today I forgot a whisk. What are you using? I'm using a spoon. It's quite the opposite to a whisk. And now for the all important ice cold John Boston. Pale ale. One for the butter, and then one for me. This has to be ice cold, because that's gonna react with the flour, and it's gonna create that super crispy batter that we're really looking for in the beer butter. Step by step and bit by bit, we're just gonna start to fold our beer in. Rightio, now enter the flathead. Now she's pretty simple. You just wanna dredge your piece of fish through that beautiful batter, and then lay it really slowly so it doesn't stick to the bottom, and always push it away from you so that anything that splashes goes away from you, it doesn't go on you. Because that's happened to me a thousand times. That. That's my flathead tails smothered in John Boston beer batter. Look, this, oh my god. But you need, you need to try that. It's gonna be hot. Get that one there. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. That's not the best shit you've ever had. Oh, 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 oh. That's a dish that makes me super happy because it's something that I've eaten through my childhood and now I get to where I am and yet I still get so much enjoyment out of going out fishing and coming back and cooking that dish right there. Come and eat some food, Dad. <laughs> oh, 
Everybody's in an eight something.